The Young and the Restless spoilers next week, November 7th to the 11th. Update reveals that Billy and Sharon didn't expect Adam to know about Chelsea, but that only made him more curious. Ellen will give Nate a chance because she gave up everything in Baltimore to come back. Meanwhile, Chelsea faces a dire mental state. Neil will be a matter of concern to Devin and Lily. Before arriving in Baltimore, Nate and Ellen had a big argument with fans, fearing between them would soon be over. However, now she's back but can take and make good use of the opportunity. After all, she still loves him and hopes things can change in the near future. However, things can be more difficult when Elena realizes that Nate has accepted a new job at Newman Media. She felt angry. It sucks that she worked for Victoria, even if it means you betray your own family. Whether things will happen in the near future, keep an eye on it. Nate feels so good and wonders why Elena always believes this is really bad. This will be a new experience and I always hope to receive your support. However, Elena insists Victoria is just taking advantage of you. And it's giving her a good reason to take Sally out of the company. She added, it's a pity that you always decide things on your own without considering everyone's opinions. Will their relationship improve after all? Because fans always expect them to get back together soon. And on the other side at Chancellor Winters, Devin is shocked to tell Lily that the others are working with Victoria and it's none other than Nate. She said that everything will be made public soon, especially since Elena's back. However, Lily said it doesn't matter anymore. Fortunately, our father's supportive now. Neil's always in the back with the kids and Devin will suddenly say, I really miss him very much. And it seems like it just happened. It's so bad to have faced and faced life without him. Sharon and Billy are trying to reassure Chelsea, which they hope can put her in better mood after what just happened. Sharon believes it's over and Chelsea's no longer alone. She hopes Chelsea trusts and gives herself a chance to make things better. And Billy tries to take control of the situation and hopes Chelsea knows and notices and changes her mood. It's scary to go through it alone and I'm sure it won't happen again, Chelsea said in unease. However, Billy believes Chelsea has experienced something very bad. Under the efforts of the two of them, will Chelsea be able to overcome this difficult period and soon return to a normal life as before? Billy's departure will make Lily feel uncomfortable and he doesn't want to make it clear what's going on. But there's one thing Chelsea's mood is not good at at the moment. It needs to be someone by his side. In the future, I'll be by her side to support her and this is absolutely necessary. And he has no other choice at this time. However, this makes Lily unhappy because she's ultimately concerned that this will continue to cause them to drift further and further apart. But he didn't tell her the truth about Chelsea's worsening mental state. Fans believe that if Lily knew everything, she would sympathize and even support him. Soon he will go to Crimson Lights. However, to his surprise, Adam and Connor are also there. However, he will dodge them and immediately arrive at this appointed location with Sharon. She advised Billy to tell Adam everything and it would help Chelsea's treatment a lot. As soon as Billy leaves, Adam will approach Sharon. I wonder if the two of them are hiding a secret. Maybe that really has something to do with Chelsea.